seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toes. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. IP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. <laughs> Figured this time I'd use the stairs. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. Remembered there was a patio upstairs. About the only thing I'd managed to clock in that place was the smoking area. It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find God. the girls. Got it. They came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. You can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind you. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. unfinished business and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch.
It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. I had no choice but to keep pushing forward. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Come on, come on! Jesus, Max! I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just a guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, but what you're drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, oh, oh, there they are! Quick, get after them! Are you crazy? We can't just leave her! Now you're gonna do something! Come on! Get the rifle back there!
Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Broncos security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. <laughs> 